I've always been really interested in science. I did lots of science at high school. I've always been interested in, in sort of dissecting things, pulling them apart, working out how things happen. I started teaching science in 1977, <laughs> so a while ago. Um, and I've seen lots of changes, lots of changes in science teaching over that time. I'm head of science at Centenary High School, which is a school in the western suburbs of Brisbane, and I've been here since 2000. The school's very environmentally friendly and so we've got lots of nesting boxes for the native bird population and students are involved in tracking those, looking at the species, counting numbers. What brings a classroom to life for me is student engagement. So students asking lots of questions, wanting to answer lots of questions, wanting to know what this means, telling you stories about what they've seen on, on TV or read in a book or read in the paper. The students who are really excited by science have options of doing extra science on Wednesday afternoon and then doing really interesting experiments and demos and, and we take them around to the local primary schools and they demonstrate to the, uh, to the primary school students. The big drivers for changing science curriculum have been imperatives from our Queensland Studies Authority for the students to engage in authentic research and do extended experimental investigations and I was uh, chair of the committee that actually introduced that into the Queensland curriculum. I think what I really like in the classroom is to see the light bulbs come on in the students' um, heads, in the students' eyes when they go, when they get that aha moment and they go, oh, you mean? And you go, yeah, that's exactly right. Well, I'm proud of all my involvement in science education, my involvement in uh, the National Association of Science Teachers, I think that um, even though the majority of your students are not going to go on and be scientists, but most science teachers would say it's really important that students have a basic understanding of science and the way in which it affects them in the world and can make informed decisions based on science. <laughs>